yeah hello everybody and welcome back so hope you are doing well and enjoying out there and so today we'll be continuing with our previous uh, lesson and the previous class what we have called and created our action action pan and action pan tab and also a button button group and we'll be continuing with this class and today we will be going to create some uh, action button and uh, we'll be also doing some designing on the button side so let's just start our class okay so let me create a let me create a new button okay new button, new control and uh, this time we'll be going to create a command button okay command button okay let me give a text as a new uh new record okay so new record and we we'll go down scroll down and we'll see over here one or some called a command okay okay so command we will change this command and you can see have a lot of uh, command which is actually uh, going to uh, give some uh, some command when you actually click on this button so what we will assign is a new okay so when we click on this button uh, and it will create a new record for us in our form okay so save Store it and open. Okay, we have a new button, new record. Okay, when we click on it, you can see there is a new record. Okay, so whenever you click a new, this is a, a, a command button. So for the normal button, uh, normal uh, button, what we have to do is we have to write the overwrite method, as I told you before, to perform this action but for command button we don't need to write on uh, any method or any code for it so system uh, by framework already have a uh, method that we can be used okay so let's just create another uh, command button we will we'll be uh, um, set okay next uh, we will create a new Sorry, over here. We'll create a new uh, command button over here. Uh, we we'll, uh, call this as a um, here. Uh, save record. Okay. And in the Command type what will be give as a save okay and we'll also add another one let's add another command command button and we create as a delete delete record okay and we'll give a command as a delete mm, where is the delete Record. Okay. So make sure you give a command. This this is very important. If you never assign any command over here, the button will just act as a like a simple button. Okay. So save it. Restore the form and open it okay, we have a delete and new record mm, delete and save record but actually the position is not correct but uh, we will assign it later so let's create a new record and let me uh, give some random number actually give it and price let me give this as a one Created data. Okay, created data. Okay, I need to just copy this data over here. And uh, item ID we will just keep a number over here. 
and we'll call it as a, uh, what we can call it as a that what we can call it give a certain name as a big cherry right give us stop on stop and now what we'll do is a save record okay now just close the word form and again open it so we have our new record save so save button is working new button is working and now we will use a delete button okay so let's uh, select this one okay trade and delete the record it's actually giving you a confirmation. Are you sure you want to delete all mark record? We have only mark one, so yes. Okay. Now let's make sure this on opening. Okay. Now we can see our record is deleted. So like this, you can uh, set a command button, and so you don't have to write any code for it. So it's just as simple as. Uh, creating a command button and adding a command option what you wanted to do, like a new record, deleted record, or save record. So it's just as simple as it. So that a big deal on it. But now what we will going to do is uh, we will assign, uh, reassign the position and we will also remove this uh, uh, other button and we'll add some designing onto it. Okay, let's just go back. And go to our design and accept that. We have a button, our all the button is over here. So we will delete this one. We don't need it right now. What we will be doing is just a simple uh, three button what we'll be using, and we are happy with it. Okay, now uh, save it and restore it and have a look on it whether it's correct or not okay it's not correct but we have to assign a position okay let's go back and reassign our position of the button uh this is for a new record so we will i will move it to the top or turn off arrow and this is save correct and okay delete should be okay A new save uh, save record and delete record that's good okay now what we'll do from here is we'll give an, some image to our button okay yeah, if you see this option uh, you can see this option here button display right now we have only text only but we can assign an image to it from here so let's create a uh, give a uh, image uh, text with the image text text and uh, image below or text uh, image above okay. image above okay then the uh, image location uh, what we will give is uh, embedded embedded means a uh, holiday that is included in the, your AOT or you know a framework Embedded. So what we now do is on the normal normal image and just click on the, the dot dot uh, button over there and from here you can select your desired uh, image or icon. What we will be using is uh, just see uh, yes, so if you can find a new button. New, 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 new. Uh, or we can use at uh, any button. So, but for now, we we'll try to find a service here, and we cannot find a delete is there, but uh, new we can find. Let's let's go down. We cannot find any suitable image for our new button. Uh, 
Okay, let's just use uh, we just use this one button. I'll just copy this one. Okay. So in our here we will use this one. Okay, so put this one over here. Let's close this one. Okay, let's just save first. Restore it. Yeah, let's see. Okay, now we have a image. Okay, image with a um, what we selected is an image, uh, image with the image text and an image above. But what we are using currently is a strip, uh, strip uh, accent tab. That's why is uh, the size is too small and uh, the image cannot be go up and down, right? So uh, you can have only image on the uh, left level right on the text so we will change this uh accent uh, accent pen to a standard one and we will look onto it let's go and change our style to standard okay save it and we'll uh, restore it and we'll open it back again so now we can see here Oh, okay, okay, okay. I forgot to. I forgot with uh, to do what we want thing that is on the design and in the button. We have a new button. I forgot to add one option. Uh, yeah, uh, where is the option big? Yeah, big is. It should be set to yes. Okay. Um, save it. We will restore the form. Um, oh, wait, this is what happened. Where did our form go? Oh my god. yeah okay now you can see is we have a button and image a text with a button on the image is on the top and the text is on the bottom if we create new yeah that's working okay so let's just assign for other two uh, record also uh, other two button okay let's just go and uh, i think we will be more faster to find the text ever and image above and image location will be embedded and let's just open our um, save I think just now we saw a lot of save button over here where is that save button just now we saw it Yeah, okay. So we we'll copy this uh, resource ID okay. 1007 and uh, we will add it to our image over here. And don't forget to change the uh, option for pick to yes. And uh, we will also add for our delete text and image above. And the uh, file location embedded and change the let me find the delete button. Okay. 
Okay, let's choose this one. I think it should be okay, right? Copy and close this one. And go uh, over here and change the um, big to yes. Okay, save our project. And restore the form and open it. Okay, that's the good, right? We have a free button over here and we have an image on it. Uh, okay, uh, what we'll do now is we'll try to change back to the action type to uh, change back to stripe or uh, strip. Okay, so let's just go and uh, restore it and open it. Okay, now so when you use a uh, strip, you can see it's already mm, edges to uh, left and right, and you have a very small um, uh, accent, accent pen, right? So if you change back to standard, it will automatically be adjusted. So you don't have to worry. So first you set uh, to a standard, and again uh, later back you change it back to a strip. So uh, you don't have to worry about adjusting the image size or the system will automatically uh, fit for you. Uh, I think this much for this video guys and hope you enjoyed this one. And thanks to you and thank you for watching.